Hello fellow Rosarians, thank you for joining me today. I've received a couple of notes uh, from people and they were asking me to try out Wisconsin Roses. They sell Maiden Roses and I thought, what is a Maiden Rose? And so if you go to that website, Steve has videos out there to share with you what a Maiden Rose is. I'm not sure if everybody is using that terminology or if it's only Wisconsin Roses because if you do a search in Google Maiden Roses, the only thing that really comes up is Steve site for Wisconsin Roses. I haven't reached out to any of our other vendors that propagate to find out if they're using that term, but I will put a note up here after I do that. So let's get into pricing really quick so that I can get into the details of what a Maiden Rose is. If you want to buy a Maiden Rose from the site, it's $18, so very reasonably priced. Shipping for me was $15, and he has a little over 20 varieties on his site. When I started hearing not only from you all about Maiden Roses, I also heard about it from a presentation with the American Rose Society. And they were just talking about new varieties that had come out and they were focusing on Wisconsin Roses. And I got the impression that a lot of folks that are showing roses like to buy them from Wisconsin Roses. They're just very unique varieties and I don't know if you can find them elsewhere. So you're gonna to wanna to check that out. What did I buy? I bought Hot Princess, which is by Tonto, and this is a florist rose and a very hot fuchsia pink. And it can grow seven foot tall, which I'm really looking forward to putting up against a fence. We're adding a fence this year, and I'm looking for some taller things to put up against the fence. So let's talk about what is a maiden rose if you go to the wisconsin rose site he has put together two videos on youtube showing you how to care for them when they arrive when we think about grafted roses that we buy from palatine uh, David Austin, Re Regan, all of uh, the vendors that are selling grafted roses, those roses have been in the field for two years when they're lifted, prepared, put in cold storage, and sent to you. So they're two years old. They're going to be older than this. In this case, the rootstock is put into the ground in June. They're budded and then they're lifted four months later and sent to you. So it's in a very early stage, uh, which it makes it economical to ship. It's ship bare root. And um, then when it comes to you, as soon as that multiflora that is still on this rose starts to leaf out, you snip off the top and that little bud that's on it um, is going to be the rose that you bought and it's going to grow. So let's look at this really quick and see if I can make uh, help explain it a little bit more. Okay, so I just took out, um, this was shipped USPS with paper inside. Let me see if there's any directions. Nothing here. Ah, but here I have directions. So we have the entire thing closed, enclosed in a bag, which I love seeing when I buy a Barrett Rose because I know that they've made every effort for this to remain moist through shipment. Um, in the event that a rose gets dried out, it's, it's an uphill bow, battle to get it hydrated again in hopes that it will survive. So let's open this up really quick. Directions here about soaking this. We are going to soak this just like we do with the bare roots that you receive from any vendor. You're going to soak, he's saying two to 24 hours, but I always soak for 24 hours. That's what I've done forever um, and haven't had an issue. So you're soaking for 24 hours, so he says, make sure that you're not going to overwater them, that that will um, make them susceptible to die back. So we want to make sure that we're not overwatering them. All right, so let's get into looking at this little baby. Okay, and it has stayed moist. It's in newspaper, and I can feel that it is still wet. I love learning new things. And so this is just something fun for me to try to see what it is and how it does in my yard. So once we open this little baby up, what catches my eye is all of these new roots. Oh, look at this. Hold this up for you to see. So what's caught my eye is do you see all of those pretty white roots that are coming out? This is a very happy rose right now. It also has uh, new growth 
up here on all of the canes. Let's go ahead and take off this rubber band at the top that's holding it together very carefully. Oh, I just <laughs> snapped off a, um, a little bud eye there. So if we think about this, we're getting a view into something that only the growers really get to see because this process typically by the time it comes to you it has already moved into a different phase so what we're looking at here is this entire upper portion is the multiflora rootstock um, in some cases depending on the vendor uh, it might be dr huey or it may be uh, fortuniana so in this case this is multiflora and if you look down in here, do you see this green uh, budded section here? That's where they have sliced the rootstock and they have put a, um, a bud in here. And then typically what they do until it takes is they have tape that goes all the way around it to hold it in place until it takes. And it's an amazing thing when you bud a rootstock that it's this new scion starts to grow using the roots of the multiflora and the multiflora of course is more resilient um, and that's why it's been chosen as a rootstock so what we're going to do is we are going to soak this for 24 hours we are going to take it out of the water after 24 hours and i'm going to pot it up so i can watch it close i'm going to wait until i see the this section upper section of the multiflora completely turn to new leaves so that may be about a week and a half or two weeks as soon as it turns to leaves I'm going to cut it straight across here and if you start taking a look at the roses that you receive that are grafted you will notice that there is a piece on that rose that one cane that is always cut flat at the top and that is the original rootstock so you'll start to get really good at looking at your roses and knowing really quick is this a grafted rose if you don't see that it's been cut Flat on any of those canes that would be indicator one that in all likelihood it is own root um, so we're going to cut that off and still have this potted up and then we're going to watch this become a new cane so one of the things that I'll mention really quick and talking to my husband he said he was found it very interesting about where this was placed do you remember when we did the unboxing from Regan a few weeks ago if you haven't looked at that check back there was a Cinderella root that I received where it had such a long neck and the reason why it had such a long neck is because whomever was grafting that day didn't want to go down farther on the root for whatever reason I don't know I wasn't there but when you see a really long uh, trunk and then the graft at the top it's because they didn't graft it as close as this is this one has been really grafted nicely it's just going to look like a, it's a perfect rose so he did a great job so what i'll do is i will continue this video through the process so that you can see how it goes we'll meet again in about two weeks and i'll show you how to cut this off okay so here is my maiden rose and it is flushing out in the rootstock portion of it it is flushing out uh, with leaves here and it, the direction said that as soon as it does that that it's time to go ahead and cut it off this is the rose that i want that was grafted on and everything above is um, the graft portion so it's always scary when you do something new but i'm going to do it with you guys here so we are going to cut this off All done. So I'm going to come back now and put some uh, bonide sealer on this and let's check back again with each other here soon. Okay everybody this is two weeks later and look at this baby. It is so happy. So I hope that this demystifies Maiden Roses and that you will have more confidence if you wanted to tackle a new project and buy a maiden rose. Thanks so much. I'll see you in the next one.